I didn't authorize that with anybody. Oh, you lucky, man. You lucky. Tell me, man. You ready to go to jail? Because that's exactly where you headed. Buck him, Dano. What's going on, folks? It's your guy, Very High. Today's video is LSPDFR once again, and we are going to be installing five mods that I think are just integral to uh, enjoying the game straight out of the box. Like, I don't know any other way to play the game for my limited time than with these mods. And I'm going to start off with Immersive Dispatch. This just makes it a lot easier to deal with dispatch. Tell them you're on call, on scene, investigating, on lunch break. Who knows? Smoking crack in the alley. Whatever it is, you can communicate with dispatch a lot easier. We're also going to download Stop the Ped, Ultimate Backup, and CompuLite along with ALRP all from Bejo Ejo Plugins. Feel free to read all of the um, uh, intense feature logs for all of these mods on your own time. So for Immersive Dispatch, we're going to go ahead, click this blue download file if you haven't already. Uh, that will initiate the download process. I've already got this downloaded right here in this giant folder full of LSPDFR mods, and it is Immersive Dispatch 1.5.3. I'm going to open up this archive, and inside we have Immersive Dispatch. And then you'll notice that we have this OP Immersive Dispatch folder. You can click on that. And then we have an LSPDFR and a plugins folder along with Rage Native UI. So let's go ahead and assume you have a fresh, brand new installation of LSPDFR. You're going to open up uh, your file task browser. Uh, I'm, or I'm going to click right click start and go to File Explorer. <clears throat> and I'm going to navigate to my C drive to find my program files because I play on Epic Games. So I'm going to click on that folder in GTA 5. And let's assume you got a brand new, fresh installation of LSPDFR. You'll need Rage Native UI in order to display UIs and uh, use a lot of mods associated with LSPDFR. So just drag that Rage Native UI into your main GTA 5 directory like so, if you don't have it. And when it comes to this LSPDFR folder and this plugins folder, this is how we'll be installing mods for this entire video. You're lit literally going to select those two folders drag it from your archive straight into your gta 5 main directory just like so and you'll see in your directory you have a plugins and an lspdfr folder and now we've just installed immersive dispatch and its keyboard binding is l but moving on, we got uh, Immersive Dispatch installed. Now we're going to move on to uh, Stop the Ped. This one is a really big one that you got to have and, and install Stop the Ped. Stop the Ped is going to allow us to have a much deeper interaction with PEDs within uh, LSPDFR. And don't worry, we're going to hop into the plugins folder and look at each one of these configuration files separately. Next, we're going to do Ultimate Backup. So Ultimate Backup uh, provides a lot more assistance. Coroner services, tow services. You know, somebody left their car sitting out, it's getting towed. Next, we're going to do CompuLite. CompuLite is a computer system that we can, we can make arrest records and citations. It's got a court system. So anyone you bust, you can eventually see the outcome of their life based on their decisions in your discretion. Next, we're going to install ALRP. This is basically like some kind of technology system that can tag uh, license plates. And if they come back stolen or registered expirations, whatever, whatnot, it's going to ping us and let us know. Let's go ahead and install that as well. Now, you saw how easy that was. Everything goes into either an LSPDFR folder or it hops into the plugins folder right now. We're going to click on this plugins folder. Then we'll click on LSPDFR. And here we got everything we installed. So grammar police folder that came with OP. That's another mod we'll install later. It also came with police smart radio, which I'm not going to use. Or vocal dispatch. So I'm going to delete police smart radio and vocal dispatch right now. Bow. But we also have stop the ped and ultimate dispatch LRP. Let's look at these configuration files right here. The papers with the cog on them, the documents with cogs. So LRP, uh, it has a shortcut key toggle uh, to turn it on and off with F8. I'm gonna make that F11 
and then I'm going to save that. I'm not going to worry about any of this other stuff down here. You can if you'd like, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not. Next is Compulite. Now, Compulite, I'm going to leave as is. For the controller, if I just hold right inside of a vehicle, I can access the computer. And there is actually a, a tablet feature, too. I guess number pad zero on the keyboard. If you don't have number pads, you can change it to any number you'd like on the keyboard. So you can go through that if you'd like. I'm happy with these settings. So I'm going to leave that alone. Next, stop the ped. So this one is how we interact with uh, characters uh, throughout the world. So here are the key binds for keyboard and controller. So uh, E would be the, the key you use to do that. And anything that has a modifier, that means you would hold left control key and then hit the T key to do a quick, quick grab. But I'm on controller, so I'm going to look at the buttons here. And to stop the pad, we have D-pad right. And to initiate the whole sequence of interaction, uh, controller button and context menu for peds and vehicles. So A and D-pad left. So I'm guessing uh, holding D-pad left and hitting A is going to bring up a context menu. Then we have D-pad up. We have shortcut for a quick wrap is B and D on the left pad. Didn't know that. Let me write that down. D, I'm going to write that down. So there you go. You can change these up to anything you want. And of course, we're also going to take a look at the LSPDFR configuration file because a lot of it conflicts with Stop the Ped and other things like Ultimate Backup. We're now going to take a look at Ultimate Backup. Ultimate Backup, of course, is also keybind with B. Um, and it says that if we... Oh, so if we wanted to, we could create uh, a modifier key to toggle the menu. And an example would be left shift, L shift key, or L control key for left control key. So we could do something like that so that doesn't interfere with the original. Uh, we could give that a shot. But we're not because we're going to go. <laughs> We're going to go into the LSPDFR and just completely disable it. You don't have to. You can create this modifier if you so. Really quick, the things I did change in the vanilla keys configuration file was backup. Um, I completely got rid of the backup uh, system altogether with vanilla. So I'm just going to type uh, capital N and then lowercase O-N-E. I'm going to type none for all of these. The backup menu controller, I'm also going to make that uh, none. Siren, I'm going to leave the same. For traffic stops, uh, let's see. For traffic stops, it wants us to hit controller uh, A. For traffic stop interaction, D-pad right. So traffic stop interaction, I'm going to change that to none. And if I go up to pursuit, I'm going to keep that. Cram report. Right thumb, I am going to turn that to none. Uh, toggle duty modifier, I'm not going to edit that. Start vehicle selection, I'm not going to edit that. Performing arrest on controller, D-pad right. I think I'm going to leave that as is. Actually, yeah, I'm going to leave that as is. And then uh, stop heads is D-pad right. Whereas stop the pad is a double tap on the D-pad right. So I think I'm going to leave that the same as well. So those are the things that I paid attention to and wanted to change uh, in my uh, vanilla keys configuration file for LSPDFR in this video. So let's go ahead and uh, was there anything else? Um, I even have this web page bookmarked from the Rage plugin hook documentation. I'll have this link down in the description. You can take a look at this if you're using a controller. It'll tell you all the values that you need to put in or that you can put in. Unfortunately, for the PlayStation, it, you cannot get the touchpad, which sucks. Um, but you can do the back, left thumbnail, right thumb, I mean, left shoulder, right shoulder, um, D-pad, up, down, A, B, X, Y, all that cool stuff. So I'm going to minimize these folders for now. I've got my Epic Games launcher right here because that's what I'm rocking on. And I'm going to hit launch. 
By the way, if you're new to LSPDFR modding, and I haven't mentioned this before, I have an installation video that I came out with, and we're going to have a series of other videos as well. Now that we've got this going, I'm going to get Rage Plugin Hook popping in the background as well. I don't know if I clicked that once or if I just clicked it twice, but it's going to get popping in the background. It's waiting for Rockstar to catch up. Here we go. We're loading in, and we are going to catch y'all folks in Los Santos. Forgive me, y'all. This is my first day on the do. Oh, you can tell this fool's the rookie, bruh. Doesn't know what he's doing. Let's enter the garage and get a squad car. <laughs> okay. Yep, here we go. We in the cruiser. Doing our thing. Let's go ahead and hit the block. Let's hit the block. All right, let's go ahead and tell uh, dispatch first. Let's get out of here. Oh. Citizens report a 211 at... Uh... Gas All right, we've taken it. Response code three. Oh, my God. All right, I think it said code three. So we have to get to this uh, gas station. And don't forget, we're going to be calling back up to. Oh, come on. Something else is. Come on. Something else is assigned to do it. Come on, man. Why did I do that to myself? Uh, it's okay. We do still have... Uh, I might have just screwed myself. I can live with my mistakes. Damn it! <laughs> How did I mess that up two times? He's gonna wreck. Oh, so hitting down while in pursuit. I didn't authorize that with anybody. I need code two. I need a code three backup, baby. I'm gonna apprehend the sus. The hell? All right, we're gonna question this guy now, so we can. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. All right, we're gonna have a partner here investigating this fool. We gotta get, we gotta run something on this, uh, on this vehicle. So we're gonna request a uh, pet check on dispatch. We can even hit L on our keyboard and do the same thing. Uh, we're gonna get a plate check. So we already know this man tried to rob a bank. We ain't gonna ask him too many questions, but homie's gonna pat him down, and then I'm gonna dig through this dusty ass minivan. I'm gonna come to the back here. What am I gonna do? Oh, I guess I don't have a toggle for that. I'm gonna hit G. So he has a small revolver and a postcard to send him from jail. We're gonna request, uh, we're gonna just search his shit. We're gonna run his shit real quick. Excuse my language. We're gonna run it. What do we come back with? Several bags of marijuana and a firearm. All right, we're going to take uh, his evidence. I'm going to go to the trunk of the car, and I believe I can run the uh, serial on this weapon. If I can get back here. So if go to the trunk, we'll stop the pit. We can grab rifle, shotgun, replenish ammo, armor, and health. Let's do that. Glug, glug, glug. Pull it out the black. Pull out the bag. You know what I'm saying? Now we're going to do um, a weapon serial check on that gun we just found. It's a perfect example. A small revolver. Dispatch, I need a weapon status check on a small revolver with serial number A993193N. Small revolver. Fido Rogers. His name is not Fido, is it? Status valid? Is his name Fido? Hold on, bro. Stuck. Is his name really Fido? Sir, what is your name again? This, his, this is Fido. That's his gun. Well, Fido, you used that in the commission of a crime, bruh. So I'm going to have to run your ass in. 
All right, what we're going to do here now is hop on Compulite. We're not going to hit X or Q on our keyboard. We're going to hold right on the D-pad. And here we are. We have a computer. So, Mr. Fido Rodriguez, who is Andres Chroma? Damn, I must have let him get away. So, we have Fido Rogers in custody here. He's already got a parking, a fire lane, obtain, open container. Uh, we're not going to go to citation. We're just going to give this full street arrest record. But we can look at some of these, actually, vehicle operation. We can give him some citations. Driving while license suspended. No, he actually has his license. Um, oh, property damage for sure, bro. Reckless driving, most definitely. He might have ran a red light. I don't know. Texting while driving, using phone, violation of right of way, for sure, bro. What else was he doing? He had some, uh, we'll just go with those for now. We'll click on this, submit the citations, and now let's hop into the uh, arrest report. Let's go ahead and let's give this full what he needs. All right, he had drug possession, so uh, he had some marijuana on him. Uh, he had, uh, he had, uh, robbed a damn bank or some shit, right? Aggravated assault, uh, with a deadly weapon, battery on people, blah, 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 blah. that's it. Um, I'm pretty sure there was more than that, uh, aggravated battery. Here we go. Theft and robbery. Armed robbery, for sure. Uh, grand theft firearm. Wait, was that his van? I don't even know if that's his van. Damn it. Uh, let's go to vehicle records. That'll tell us who this van is. The van is owned by Andre, Andre, Andres. What? Andres Chroma. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this fool's going down. Grand theft. He might have stole this. Who knows? I don't know. But he just hopped into a car. I'm assuming it ran off. So, yeah, assault, battery. He tried to evade police. This man tripping. Uh, let's see. Traffic. Evading police. Isn't that a thing? Uh, he's got his license. Driving the wrong way. He sure was. Evading reverse. Leaving the scene of an accident. I didn't see any accidents. Driving reckless for show. I even helped. Um, yeah, let's give this man his day in court. Submit those charges. And, uh, yeah, let's go serve this month. Let's go serve him his paperwork. <clears throat> okay, Mr. Fido, uh... Report Damn, we got a call. We got a call. All right, we're just going to hit, uh, left control, left shift, and page down key. And we're going to serve this for his citation. And then, and then I'm going to, uh, I'm like, look, play boy, this is what's happening. Your ass is pretty much getting locked up. Uh, you, uh, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Can I talk to this man? Oh, it's right on the D-pad. I forgot completely. Let's go ahead, and we're going to get someone to get you the... Wait, were you high? Hold on, homie. Were you high? Because those are additional additional charges. Were you high? Oh, you lucky, man. You lucky. Tell me, man. You ready to go to jail? Because that's exactly where you hit it. Buck him, Dano. Assistance required and mirror park. Go away. We can hit M on the keyboard and be all like, be good. be good, bye. Are we happy? Yeah, I got that smug ass look on his face. I just sent his ass out of here. I'm feeling kind of gangster. Yeah, you can tell by the way I walk, homie. All right, we're going to go ahead and get this vehicle towed the hell out of here. I'm going to hit G on my keyboard. Let's see. We are going to request a tow. Hit it with a large tow truck. Tow truck. Assistance required in Mirror Park. All right. That about does it. 
We can hold backspace to get that tow truck here sooner. And boom, there it is. Whoop. There it is. Going to pick up this little ugly ass minivan. Alright, I'm out of here. Insurance will take care of whoever's car that was that we just busted up. But let me go ahead and turn on the ALRP. Boom, F11 on my keyboard, and we're just gonna run some plates. Oh shoot, what am I? Alright, ALRP is activated. Let's go to a potentially high crime area. All units, we've got a criminal resistance this... arrest. Alright, we're going around this guy. Oh, are we crashing right now? What was that? Okay. All right, guys. Well, that's the tutorial. <laughs> I hope to catch you in the next episode for a little LSPDFR. Don't worry. You probably won't have the same problem I did, but you guys go ahead and explore and enjoy these mods. Until the next time, I'm your guy very high. Peace out. Stay safe, stay dangerous, and subscribe.